Yeah. A shark. Hey, look. Most of the time when we're fishing in the middle of June with me, we're talking about tarpon. But not this morning. We're gonna go do what most everybody else does in June in the Florida Panhandle, and we're gonna go catch some red snapper. You know, we do a lot of catch and release stuff, but red snapper ain't one of them. Got some sandwiches inside, some pub subs, the official sponsor of boating and fishing for the entire Southeast. Not really. That's a pro tip right there. You take them pub subs, Throw them in a ziplock. Since they go on ice, these paperbacks get all soaking wet, which makes your bread all soggy. No good. No. That, good. What kind of sandwiches we got today? Got a BLT wrap, got a mm -hmm. couple hams, a couple ultimates, chicken tender sandwiches with buffalo sauce on them. That's money. Look, right here. The little one. Yeah. Well, there's... I mean, yeah, it's, it's a big it's boat. Big. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of gear to get in that boat. All right, y'all, this is Jonah Smith right here. You talk about a fishing machine. We have actually caught a lot of fish together. What's the biggest fish that me and you have ever caught together? What do you think? Tarp. Probably a tarpon. Yeah. But today, what are we going to try to get? Some snappers. All right. I'm Justin Leak, y'all. We got Jonah here. This is my buddy, Ashley Smith. Me, there's Captain Nash right here. And me and him have been fishing together for a long, long time. All right. We got the whole crew. We got Angie, Jackson, and Austin. It is light winds, a little overcast. We're gonna stop and grab some baits, and next thing you know, we'll be on the fish. You can go catch bait, or you can pull up here to the bait barge, throw them a few dollars, and they will throw you a net full of minnows. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Y'all enjoy the day. Y'all, uh, get your bait on and fire it down. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Well. I didn't just got shark. Nope. Not yet. Got a long ways to go. Oh, he's floating up like a grouper now. What do y'all think it is? Yeah. Are y'all embarrassed? Y'all just fished for 10 minutes with live bait and I dropped a jig down and... Yeah. Well, I, not really. Nah. I mean, you're a perfect fish, so yeah. <laughs> I have a little advantage, huh? And, and you can't get your bait stolen. That's We're getting true. our bait stolen. I know. Like, if they miss the jig, they'll come back and hit That's it. That's right. When our bait's gone, it's gone. We don't get a second chance. You better get that gap ready quick. I don't know what it is, but it's big. I got it. It's up here. I got it. I think. I got it right here, girl. No, I got one right here. It's a big old red snapper. Oh. Ooh, look at that red snapper. Oh. Holy, Holy cow. Look at oh, that red oh snapper right God. there. Oh, Here, gaff him right in his belly. That's oh, fine. That's fine. Let's spin him around and stick him right in his belly. All right. Now, I can't wait to see you try What are you going to do with that fish now? Huh? <laughs> Leave him in the water because I ain't getting up. Come on, lift that dude in the boat. Oh. Look at that red snapper right there, y'all. Oh. Holy, that is a world record. <laughs> Here. Hey, I missed the family reunion the other day. But Uncle Freddie made me some jigs. That was the first drop with that jig right there. Oh, <laughs> That's what I'm, talking about. I'm dropping it down. Beast right there, huh? Hey kids, y'all think y'all can handle one of them? No. Huh? Yeah, you can. That's number one. That's uh, got to be a snapper. Barely legal. No, you 
Hey, what a beeliner is really called, Jonah? Beeliner. Yeah, vermilion snapper. And he goes straight in the chute right here. What is it? It's a scam. Keeper? Yeah. There you go. Oh, no, no. That's it. Look, got the line, Jackson. There you go. Actually, about to be full-time deckhand. Yep. Oh, they're coming straight towards mm. oh. Pull a little harder. That little better fish, huh? No, oh, this is not shark. No. <sighs> That's aggravating. Oh, we got them, Austin. That's it. Just keep the rod straight out the side. Keep going. Keep going. Don't, don't let up on him until he's in the boat. You got a long ways to go. Just real hard. Real hard. Real hard. Real hard. Real, real, real. Don't stop to reposition. Just keep that thing a going. Uh, might have just got sharp. Yep. Got it. They're doubled up. I think Jonah's got a whale. So, yeah, we caught some red snapper, but these red snappers are big. And when these kids are coming up slow with them, these sharks and dolphins are just running over and grabbing the fish. Keep going, keep going. There's, there's, I see your fish right over there. Big old red snapper. Big old red snapper. Look at that. Look at that. Big old red snapper. Jonah goes nice. Nice snapper, look at that. On these little teeny hooks for the cut bait. Hey, little rig for the win. Well, we were having a hard time getting them past the sharks, so we went to some little cut baits so we could catch some vermilion snappers. And then now we got dang big old red snappers, so I'll take them. Tell me what you got. A shark. Hey, look. Uh, my line went up. A big old shark. That ain't a big shark. <laughs> <laughs> That's a small one, buddy. Oh, God. Kill that thing. Nah. Just make sure we get our lead back. I got him on the side. Oh, That's a big Look at that. They're big as red snappers. I about to say, I don't know what to, we're sitting here trying to catch that red snapper for. That vermilion is a little better eaten, and these are the size of red snappers. Y'all look at that vermilion right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's not a video. I'm telling you right now. I know there's a big old shark down there. Oh, he just got in. Ah! I'm so tired of the stupid sharks. He wins. We can't hook in them bigs. Well, a day of fishing never goes as planned. Run a long ways, get really big bites, and we can't wrestle anything past sharks and dolphins. Aggravate. But we got plenty for a few meals. Kids got some big tugs. So it may not be up to what I was hoping for, but still an adventure on the water.
Let's give it a little rinse. This is the guy you want to take home with you right here. Yeah, it's snapper season, but a scamp is always more welcome at the dinner table. A scamp is a kind of grouper, but it just happens to be the kind of cream of the crop of the grouper family. Way better eating. I think all groupers are pretty good eating what you think. Oh, scamp for better. better. You're spoiled, that's what it sounds like. Mm-hmm, ain't nothing wrong being spoiled, huh? One of the most important things about cleaning these fish when you do it this way, when you go to cut the skin off, boys, you hold the skin. Don't ever hold the meat. You hold the skin, get your nice flexible knife, and just run. See how my hand's only touching the skin. I'll never hold the meat. And that thing will come off like a shell right there. I knew old Jonah, when he was a little kid, was just going to be a fishing machine because We'd come back in off of a long, all day offshore trip. He was probably about four or five years old. And he'd sit here on the dock and fish when we got in. And we'd clean the boat and clean fish and get, be trying to get out of here. And he'd still be sitting here just fishing off the dock, catching chokers. Catfish. And catfish. Why do their tongues stick out of their gut? This is a uh, stomach. Yeah. Because their swim bladder expands when you bring them up out of deep water. And once that swim bladder blows up, Oh, it pushes their stomach out of their mouth. Time for the grand finale. I don't know if you'll fit on the cutting board. Paul, come look at the world record snapper. You got here right in time. They're all right there, right? I think we'll have to clean them on the deck of the boat. Didn't that? Look at that thing. Hey, how are you doing? Good. You look thin. Yeah. You're back to your fighting weight, huh? I quit, I quit drinking and started a marathon. <laughs> yeah, right. I believe the first part of that. Yeah. One of the truth. <laughs> yeah. Boys, what do y'all tell the Smith family for letting us go fishing with them? Thank you. Glad we appreciate came, it. Guys. Seriously. Had that was time. awesome. We enjoyed it. Always good to have the leaks on the boat. And, uh, always good to have the leaks on the boat. And uh, first snapper to get on the boat for this season. And hopefully we'll get to it again here soon. Beautiful chunks of fresh red snapper. Holy cow, look how thick that is. This is off of that really big snapper. Yeah. I like to trim off any, like that's a little bit of bloodline right there. Just kind of trim that off. But look, so this piece, that would be super hard to cook. So we're gonna do two things. First off, it's already kind of got a seam right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right there, make it smaller that way. But then that's way too thick to cook. This is not like a ribeye where you might want that thing that thick. So we're going to take this piece just like that and I'm going to cut it horizontally like this. And now we have two perfect fillets when you're uh, cutting fish up. Put it on a napkin if it's wet because when you try to blacken it in a pan or even cook it on the grill, if it is uh, if it's wet, you end up like kind of boiling it, not browning it like, like we want to. This is a chipotle barbecue, so it's got a little heat. And we're just gonna throw this in that skillet. And that skillet is lubed up with some bacon grease. Kind of cheating when you're looking for flavor, but it's gonna be good. Lemon juice couldn't hurt anything, so we'll uh, do a little of that, roll that around. Our cast iron skillet is already hot. And to me, the only way you can really mess it up big time is if you overcook it. So we're gonna sear this, get a little crust on either side of it. You can get these big old pretty pieces in there. And this is gonna take a few batches, so it'll take a second, but this stuff's gonna cook pretty quick, so. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Yeah. 
So Austin's chopping the veggies. We've got some carrots, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, onions, some feta cheese. If we needed more, we've got some bell peppers there too, but I think that'll probably be plenty. I'm making a salad dressing. It's got olive oil, red wine vinegar, garlic, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, and oregano. Oh, you can't smell it, but I ain't never smoked grits like that. These come straight out of the Florida Panhandle, and they are non-GMO, never spray with Roundup, and they actually cold smoke them. So, sounds really good. Hot. But it's worth burning your tongue for. Uh, funny because we make smoke good to grits every once in a while. But we normally just use regular grits and then we use smoked gouda cheese. But since we used smoked grits this time, we just use regular gouda. And we ought to still end up with what? Smoked gouda grits. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Should be. We'll see. This cheese is very hard. So far, we have strawberries and apples in the salad. But we will be putting, oh my gosh, hi. Putting um, bananas and mandarin oranges. You ready for the fish sauce? Let's go. The sauce is just something we're gonna kind of make up, but we've done before. Basically, we'll make a roux with a little butter and organic whole grain flour. And I know y'all have done this before. You want to be our rooster? Yeah. Rooster? Our root? Not a rooster. Not a rooster. Not, not a rooster like a chicken. He is our Stir. root. Stir. Stirrer. But you have to cook that flour. If you don't cook it, it just tastes like flour. And it just gets its own, I don't know, you can't, can't mistake it when you smell it. You know what it is. No, it's gonna be I actually good. do mistake it for pancakes. It yeah. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. Take some onions and bell pepper and chop it up real fine and put in there, let that cook a little bit. And then from there, you can put any kind of liquid you want, whether it's like a chicken stock, milk, cream, just water, whatever. It's gonna make a pretty good sauce. In real pro status, I'm gonna come back for the fruit later. Cause I'm gonna go all in on this big chunk of fish. We actually didn't add very much Gouda to them because they looked and smelled and tasted so good on their own. And I think I'm just gonna keep going in for more. I just kind of cover up my whole plate with grits. Smoke Gouda grits, black and, this is our red snapper that we just caught, black and red snapper, a little veggie salad there, and what we call fish sauce or fish gravy. Really and that, what does fish sauce look like? It's like a black liquid. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll stick with fish gravy. How about that? Because it looks more like a gravy. Those people and there you go. not that hard to make this is really good we had a lot of fun making it thank y'all for watching this y'all hit that like subscribe button from the entire leak family here y'all tune in next time we're going to keep this going this is our life and it's always an adventure all right boys i gotta tell y'all a good story right here on this dock at this marina is where I proposed to your mother in the tower of one of these big sport fishers right here. When me and mom first met, I was working on one of these boats down here and I should have kissed her for the first time in the tower of one of these boats. It's nice and romantic, but instead, you know where we had our first kiss at? The Walmart parking lot. That, that was probably not the most romantic move ever. So when I knew I wanted to marry her, and I thought, you know what? I bought a ring. I'm gonna propose to her. I thought I better make good on this nice romantic setting down here. So we went, I had a nice uh, date night scheduled for us. And uh, I 
got her to come up in the tower and have a little talk and I got down on a knee and proposed right up there in the top one of the towers. The only thing I didn't think about when I was planning that out was I got this ring that cost more than like anything I owned at the time. And uh, once I started climbing up that ladder with that ring, I thought, this is pretty dangerous. If I drop this thing, it's probably gone forever. But And it was raining. I, and it was raining, but I didn't. Oh. And she still got that ring on her finger right now. So it worked out pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> no, show my ring. We can high five over that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to leave you hanging. <laughs>